first of all we should wish we should wish the coach the very best for his season and as i said earlier on i think nobody is more deserving he is worked hard to be where he is and he he needs to enjoy the moment and get the support he he so deserves and Gavin Gavin is no small boy he's been there in the PSL for quite a number of years he knows the pressure that comes along with the job in as much as yes he he, he hasn't been at pirates he hasn't been at sundowns he hasn't been at chiefs but he had had significant success wherever he had been and my 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 anticipation is he needs to develop he would have to develop resistance to too much commentary because there will always be your opinion even about things that he thinks are your bread and butter issues there's there's great opinion when you are at that platform and some of the opinions do not come from people you work with they don't they don't come from people who, who are your your supporters but it might be misleading opinion from your from your, your your opponents or your rivals who want to see just a turmoil and lack of stability so those are some of the things that he has to deal with the late Ted Dumitro used to call it third force so those are some of the things that are there in football and above all i think what what i could what i could say my two cent advice would be i hope he goes into 2021 with with the the understanding to start not the understanding to continue with the energy of 1920 because if you start 2021 with the energy of 1920 you are still misguided because even in 1920 you started 1920 with the energy of the previous a, a, a coach Solinas then it was difficult for Ernst even even Solinas he, he he was he was still in the energy of Steve Compeller which also was difficult Steve Compeller as well who was in the energy of Stuart Baxter so so the transition and the transfer of energy cannot go on more especially if it is negative Sundowns can take the energy of previous season into the coming season. But I don't think the memories of certain shortfalls from other teams could be carried forward to the next season because it becomes then negative energy. I hope he just gets a good start, work with what he has, and get the support at the back of having forgotten the previous season. Because if you don't forget the previous season's energy, you are moving into the new season with that energy. You have not started. Instead, you are continuing. They, fans, fans understand, make no mistake. But it is a deliberate choice for them to pretend not to understand for different interests. Some might not just like you for who you are and pretend not to understand. They will ignore everything else that is right that you're doing and concentrate on the ones that need to be improved because they don't prefer you. And the opposite is true. You could, you could be doing a lot of wrongs, but because you are more preferred, then there could be a highlight on positives. So that you must get clear when you go there and you work on what you think works for the brand. That's, now, how you, then, how you then deal with it is to look at what is it that is required based on my, my board? What does it say? My vision board, what does it carry? What did I say I want to achieve? Why are we not achieving this? Now, the minute you have that analysis, whatever noise is there, you can, you can, you can ignore. Because you now focused on this that at the beginning you said needs to be achieved. If you don't have a vision board, you'll have problems because you'll be all over. So, one is to say, okay, what, 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 what do we need to do? Okay, we need to do A, B, and C. Done. Then as soon as you have that, you develop, how do we then do that? Now, if you have a good strategy with regards to that, keep doing that. 
And then where you sh falling short, look back and say, but why didn't we achieve that and address that? Don't be, don't be, you don't need to be clouded by a whole lot of, a whole lot of nonsense. It, it just confuses you. And focus on, 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 on the stuff that you have to deal with. The, 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 the unfortunate part or the unfortunate part is that the brand is huge. It's got massive and, and it's diverse with many components. Now, if you get lost in all those components and not get to be on your technical uh, corner, it becomes difficult. Whether it is through marketing, through support, through admin, through many other things that would happen, yours is to strengthen the technical leg so that anything to do with technical, whether players, coaches, performance, and all that, you are focused today. If you need support from any other, you then refer to the head of that particular department to say, listen, admin, could you support me in this regard? Hey, marketing, support me. In the so each one of them has a responsibility there. Then how do you then coexist in that? Because you are head in the technical department. There's many other branches that are there. How do you coexist with them? The ability then to coexist under such complex circumstances will make your job easy. However, if it becomes too difficult for you to coexist, then it becomes, becomes a nightmare. That's one other thing that you need to immediately. Because one, when you're at Pirates and the Chiefs, they are not only a footballing environment. They, they, they are brands that they drive visions they drive initiatives they are in diverse environments where you also feel it's slightly stretching the technical uh, strength now when you feel you're getting weakened could be an overload on maybe something that has to be done and this and that then you need to at least be creative enough to protect your technical advancement whilst advancing objectives of others so you need to be very smart in that environment I worked with other on a daily basis. When I was at Chiefs, I spent I spent almost the rest of I would spend the whole day on the other side dealing with youth because it is part of the chairman's vision. If there's anything Kaizam Down is passionate about, it's development of people and not players. Kaizam Down is into people and not players. That's why he loves his supporters. So when, 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 when I was there, I would be with Arthur and Doc and Ace on a daily basis, discussing football, life strategies, working on players and kids. And Arthur is passionate about the game. Arthur had been at Chiefs, I don't know for how many years. His success is there. I, mean, I think all the jersey number 18 he used to wear right wing you can you see other like this he's part of the dna at chiefs so i think he will help govern hunt a lot and dylan shepherd and we wish them the very best the very best he he understands football and his submissions when you discuss football with him he's passionate about discussing football and he makes he makes perfect sense when you talk to him you feel you're talking to someone who understands football. And he will talk to you in a manner that you feel respected. He will never strip you of your dignity or your or your or your self-esteem. Uh, if things are not working well, he's the first one to remind you of the responsibility of the supporters. If things are working well, he's the first one as well to remind you that we don't have to get carried away. That, that defines humility. So he is humble in defeat and very gracious as well. And he's also humble in success and very gracious as well. So he is level headed, that he must know. And the, the, where the club is, is just a reflection of who he is. He is solid, he is clear, and he, he does things in a very systematic way. He doesn't rush decisions. And the decisions he goes through, when you look back, you also realize, okay, 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 it was in the best interest of the club.